Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington, and I'm an occupational therapist. Today, we'll be talking about contractures. Now, the medical definition of contracture is that it's an abnormal condition of a joint characterized by flexion or extension and a fixation. In many cases, it's in response to a prolonged hypertonic spasticity in a concentrated area, and this results in a loss of the normal elasticity of those connective tissues. Now, let's simplify this and break it down. A contracture develops when the normally elastic or the stretchy connective tissues are replaced by inelastic, non-stretchy, fiber-like tissues. This makes it hard to stretch the area and prevents normal movement. Now, this loss of joint motion is due to structural changes in non-bony tissue, which could include the skin, underlying tissues, muscles, ligaments, and tendons. Now, common diagnosis is or medical conditions where we see contractures are cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, stroke, traumatic brain injury, burns, and just simply prolonged inactivity. Today we are going to look at some contractures of the upper extremities or of the arms. Now here we can see contractures of the shoulder that can have an effect on ADL such as dressing or reaching over your head or combing your hair. Next, we can see contractures of the elbow that can have an effect on such daily routines as bathing and performing self-feeding tasks. Next, we are going to look at contractures of the wrist that can have an effect on, say for instance, handwriting legibility in school-aged children. And lastly, we can see contractures of the fingers that can have an effect on fine motor movements and tasks that require, for instance, picking up small objects. Now, let's take an example. Jill is a 53-year-old woman, she's active, who suffered a stroke one month ago while walking around her home. After her medical condition was stabilized, as a result of her stroke, she had left arm weakness and increased range of motion in her shoulder, elbow, wrist, and her fingers. Now, at the hospital, the occupational therapist taught her all of the range of motion and strengthening exercises. Now, following her release from the hospital, Jill did not do the recommended range of motion exercises. Now, over a period of time, Jill's left arm appeared to get stiff and began to bend at the elbow, wrist, and her fingers. Once she realized that she was unable to move her left arm at all, she contacted an OT. After meeting with the OT, it was explained to her that there was now contractures present at these joints because of prolonged inactivity. Now, there's a couple of symptoms that may be indicative of uh, upcoming contracture. Now, you can see this if one uses only one hand to complete tasks that usually should uh, use two hands. One has difficulty dressing. There's pain in joints when moved within normal range of motion. And lastly, they're unable to voluntarily move at the joint. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send emails or leave your comments here. And we'll be seeing you next time. Thank you.